All right. Hey, everyone. Just wanted to get back to you here. One more video. I'm going out of town to the AHR conference in Atlanta, Georgia. So if you're going to be there, come by and see me at the iConnect training uh, booth, and I'll be there representing the iConnect training units for HVAC instructors. They're awesome equipment. Uh, if you want to go back and check them out, they're iConnectTraining.com. I do a lot of their videos. I write their manuals and uh, consult for them as well. Great company. In the meantime, I thought I'd give you a little short video for, no pun intended, short circuits, especially low voltage intermittent problems. I went to a lot of job site visits, uh, Charleston, Myrtle Beach, Greenville, with... Um, just technicians could not find why the low voltage fuse was intermittently blowing on the control board. So I would go out there and ask questions and find out that most of the time, the short was either when it was raining or after it rained or during the winter time intermittently on a heat pump. So here's two uh, things I'll send to you to let you check it out. I promise you, I went out there, and uh, if I was a betting man, I probably would have got a lot of money, but I'm not a betting man. So anyway, here we go. If you ask the customer and start, you know, finding out a timeline of when these intermittent shorts happen, it's not random. There's something going on causing this short, and they say, well, ask them, does it usually happen after it rains? Or, you know, after, you know, in the winter time, you know. So if it's after it rains, most likely the short is in the outdoor unit. It's a low voltage short. So it's in the safety circuit. All the safety switches are wired in series. Open that unit up and go in there and just grab each low voltage wire, go through the safety and look and see for any wire that's laying on metal or copper. Grab it and turn it over. And I promise you, you'll most likely find where it has been laying on the copper or laid on the metal. It's been rubbing. And when you flip it over, you'll see just a little strand of copper exposed. It's been rubbing through the insulation. And what happens is the water gets between that wire where it's open and the copper of the metal and it creates a quick conductor and it pops that fuse. So go out there and then what I would did, I was rub my, what I would did, listen to me, what I would do is I would rub my finger across a low voltage wire very carefully, treat it like a wet noodle and feel for any place there's a short. But nine out of 10 times, well, it's gotta be, where it's touching metal or copper. Second, if it's an intermittent short in the winter time on a heat pump, guarantee you 99% of the time, it's on the low voltage wire from the heat pump back to the air handler that controls the heat strips during defrost. Or it energizes the reversing valve during defrost. So check the low voltage wire going from the outdoor unit to the air handler. Yeah, you gotta go look for those staples that are in the low voltage wire that finally work their way through and are shortened across. And then look for the orange wire. Don't worry about it coming from the thermostat or going from the thermostat to the air handler, to the air handler, to the outdoor unit. The reverse valve is controlled strictly by the defrost board in the outdoor unit during defrost. Unless you're a ream or a root, doesn't count because they're the reverse. Anybody else, go in there and look and check the orange wire going from the defrost board to the reversing valve and see if there's some kind of a short that's occurred. Again, metal or copper, the wire's covering it. Flip it over and you'll see a little, little gauge in the wire, little ga gauche. What am I starting to say? A gash, a gash, a gash in the wire. And it's touching the metal off and on, blowing the 24-volt uh, fuse. All right, hope that helps. That's my little tip. 
I'll be back in about two weeks to do another one. Again, if you like this, hit the like button. If you want to see something else specifically, let me know. I've got hundreds, if not thousands of presentations, 30 years experience, hyper troubleshooter for 15 years with carrier and train. Let me know. I would love to help you figure out that problem that's just been kicking you in the butt and you want to get it resolved. Thanks. Take care.